Hello my beautiful butterflies, I'm Holly if you don't already know me and welcome to my channel, thank you guys so much for watching. So today I just sat down and did my makeup in front of the camera and this is the look that I came up with, just super pretty easy, it was not that hard to do, kind of failed at overdrawing my lips so just kind of ignore the overdrawing because I went a little heavy handed like I always do because I'm just, I'm so bad at overdrawing my lips I don't even know why I still try to do it. But yeah, so, and the products I used, almost everything I used was all Rimmel because the beautiful Rimmel London Canada sent me this PR package. It's kind of a mess because I literally just finished using like all of it. And then some like other Rimmel products that I have in my collection, just to kind of like make it easier. Um, I used basically all drugstore products, I think. I think I used all drugstore products or like low-end affordable products. Um, this was all the stuff they sent me, like... It's on this like train, I don't want it to fall. Can you even see? I'm just gonna show you. So they sent me three mascaras. I have two with me because I gave one to my sister. They sent me a Rita Ora Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder, and I've literally. Oh, Silky Beach, that's my shade. Yes. Yes. Oh, sorry. I've been using Rimmel Stay Matte Powder for literally like probably five, six years. So I'm so excited. I literally already have five, but you can never have too much powder because I'm so oily that powder is my life. This other mascara from the Rita Ora collection, Extra Super Lash. I tried it once. I'll do a video with it. It worked really well, so I'm excited to use that more. Then I got this beautiful Rita Ora lipstick, which I this is the lipstick that I'm wearing right now. It is a super beautiful red color, like, oh my god. And it like looks darker in the tube, but on the lips looks like nice cherry red, but she totally wears this color all the time. Like maybe not the specific color, but she wears like a bright red lip. And they sent me a nail polish in the shade 807 My Gray. It's like so small I couldn't even see it. Good job, Holly. These three beautiful Magnifies palettes. Um, absolutely stunning. I used the 001 Keep Calm and Wear Gold one today for this look. For the, I'll do two other looks and use like this palette for one other look. This is 002 London Nudes Calling and 003 Grunge Glamour. So I'll do one look with this one and one look with this one. And they also sent me these five lipsticks. They are absolutely stunning. Also, I'm sorry. I watched like Shani Grimmins and Michael Finch's like Get Ready With Me where they say like absolutely stunning all the time and now I can't stop saying it because I love them so so much. <laughs> so if you guys like oh my god you're copying Shani. I'm sorry but I love her and absolutely stunning is a really, I don't know I like that phrase so I'm just saying it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I stole it from them. I admit I stole it from them. Okay? I'm not hiding it. So these shades here I will do a video totally dedicated to these lipsticks where I show you guys, I'll do swatches of them on like my wrist and on my lips for you guys, but that'll be for a later video so you'll just have to wait. But yeah, those are the products they sent me and I'm so, so grateful. Thank you so much Rimmel for sending me these products. They're absolutely incredible and I'm not just saying that because they sent them to me. I genuinely, if I didn't like them, I wouldn't be filming a video using them because then I'd just be like pissy the whole video because I'd be like, these aren't working. They work so well. The one thing is that the eyeshadows can be a little chalky, like there is some fallout with them, but there's fallout with so many other shadows I have that are like high end, so it honestly doesn't bother me that much. Lipstick was so creamy, so pigmented, so easy to put on. The shadows were great, the mascara worked so well, and I never wore just mascara on my lashes, but I was so tempted to do that for this look, but obviously it's me, so I had to put some falsies on. It's just so nice. I'm so excited to film more videos with these, so stay tuned for more videos on these looks. So this one is kind of like a spring, like a really easy spring makeup look. You can obviously not wear like a nude lip or something, but I won't really want to try this red lip, which is why I used it. And yeah, so if you guys would like to see how I got this makeup look, please keep on watching. So I already did my base. Um, if you guys want to see a more in-depth tutorial on how I do my base, I will leave the link to that in my description box. So to start, I'm um, I'm gonna go in with the 001 Keep Calm and Wear Gold. I'm going to take a mixture of these two matte shades right here. 
with this um, Morphe M330 brush and I will just be taking those colors and just blending it into the crease. I'm not going to do too much for shadow today. I just wanted to create some depth in my eyes. I will just be taking these two shades right here and I will just be packing those on the lid and I'll be doing that using this just cheap flat brush. All drugstore brands have seriously been stepping up their makeup game. Like, I am so impressed with the products they've been coming out with. Like, these shadows are beautiful. Okay, now I'm just gonna darken up my lash line before mascara. So I'm going to take this dark brown color right here with this just kind of like flat liner brush. And I'm just going to be applying that in my lash line just to kind of deepen it up a bit. I just applied my base today first because I wasn't feeling like doing it on camera. Because I feel really repetitive filming myself doing it on camera all the time. I'm also dipping into this like dark chocolate kind of color right here just to deepen up that shade that I was using. Because it just wasn't dark enough for me. Yeah, these shadows are beautiful. I'm going to take one of their little sponge things and I'm going to mix that color and that color and I'm just going to pack those on my inner corner just for a nice like kind of sparkle. I'm always worried that I'm like zooming you in too much and then I don't zoom you, zoom you in enough. I hope that's a bit better. Okay so that eye look was super easy to do. So before I apply lashes I'm going to apply some mascara. This is the Scandal Eyes Reloaded Extreme Volume and wear easy removal mascara and this is 004 very black it is absolutely stunning I applied some to my lashes when I first got it the one thing is since the wand is so big this is what the wand looks like it's so big that you do need to be careful not to smudge it all over your eyeshadow and honestly I might smudge it onto my eyeshadow because I'm a little special when it comes to applying just mascara because I normally just go in with lashes and then apply mascara um, over top. But I'm going to apply mascara on first because I just want to show you guys this mascara. And of course I brought my lash curler downstairs but I'm too lazy to go get it. And honestly if I curl my lashes before I apply my falsies it's not going to work. So I'm just going to go in and when I apply my mascara I like to kind of use a mirror and have it like downwards almost so that there's less of a chance of it getting on my beautiful eyeshadow I did. So I'm just going to open my eye wide and then I just kind of wiggle the wand. And I kind of have like stubby lashes right now because my allergies have been so bad that I've just been rubbing my eyes a lot and of course it's taking a toll on my little baby lashes. And obviously if I curl them they stick up like a lot more than this. But if I curled them before I applied mascara and then applied falsies it would just not work. I'm just applying a thin, a thin-ish layer and I'm really impressed if I haven't gotten this on my lid and I'm probably gonna jinx it. Like do you see that? Like I I didn't even curl them. Like I didn't, I didn't curl them at all or anything and I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed honestly. See I get two mascara happy and then it gets all over my lid. But another thing if you get any mascara on your lid don't wipe it off right away wait for it to dry or else it's just going to smear and it's never going to go away. And then your whole makeup is ruined and then your day is ruined, so. This side is like more sparse than the other side, so. The lash transformation probably won't look like much to you guys. Also, if I didn't, if I brought my curler, I would have curled them and you would have seen the difference. Because so when I curl my lashes, it's a life changer. This side is like severely sparse, so just kind of ignore that side. But it, like this mascara is really good, I really like it. And so now I'm going to go on with some lashes. These are the Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes and I will just be applying some dual eyelash adhesive to those to let them get tacky. I probably should have done this before I did my mascara so that like this glue would have been tacky. I'm not thinking, I'm sorry, I'm so tired. And I wanted to use like some really baby lashes today just to show you guys the effect that the mascara has on my lashes. So while that glue gets tacky, I'm going to highlight my brow bone and to do that I'll be taking taking the sponge again, 
Now I'll be taking this white shadow right here just to highlight that brow bone. Okay, so now that the glue is tacky, I'm going to apply my lashes. It's not really tacky, but I'm too impatient to wait. Oh, Holly. I just feel like lashes just, they just change a look for the better. Like, I just feel like they just kind of tie everything together. So for those of you who just want to wear mascara, you can totally, you can totally just leave it like this. But this is how I like it. <laughs> I like it to be dramatic, always. So for right now, I'm going to finish the rest of the face while the glue finishes drying. I'm going to go in with my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in the shade, in the shade Sunny, and this has been through hell and back, as you can tell. But still works, still works, guys. So I'm just gonna be swirling that in with my Real Techniques blush brush and just bronzing out my face. So I'm going to contour my nose, but I'm going to use the same eyeshadow palette. So I'm just going to be dipping in to that shade right there, that like matte brown, because I forgot my contour kit downstairs. And I will just be snatching my nose because no one wants a gross nose. That is a really nice contour color. I don't know, I really like that color. Obviously I'm going to blend it in, but I'm going to be going in with my Rimmel Stay Matte powder in the shade Silky Beige. And for blush, I'm taking the Body Shop's Blush Trio shade in Warm Sunset. And so, ooh, I'm just gonna dip my Coastal Sense angled brush here. Make myself look nice and blushy. So I'm gonna go in with these two colors again, and I'm going to smudge those on my lower lash line. It's not dark enough for me, so I'm gonna take that angled brush and go in with this shade right here. Apply that sucker to my lower lash line. Why am I talking in an accent? I don't know. And I'm going to go in again with this Scandal Eyes Mascara and just apply some of that to my lower lashes. I'm a little worried for this because the wand is so big, so I hope I don't like mess everything up. This is just a really nice, like fresh look. I really like it. So next to highlight the shiz on my face, I'm gonna take ColourPop's Super Shock Cheek in Smoke and Whistles. This is my baby. Highlight just, just makes everything better. So I'm gonna take my Morphe M501 brush, which is my favorite brush to apply, sorry, cat hair, to apply highlighter with, and I'm just going to dip her in there and go to town on my face. I feel like this video is gonna be really long because I'm talking so much. I'm just gonna pick some up, my pinky and apply it to my inner corner. And then to finish this look, I'm going to apply some faux freckles to my face and I'm going to take Rimmel's brow pencil in the shade Hazel and I'm just going to freckle my face because I'm just feeling freckles today. Oh my God, this is Rito's Red from Rimmel. They sent this to me. Like, can you die? Like, look at that. Oh, absolutely. Oh. I'm feeling red today, so I'm gonna do a red. So I'm taking this Rita's Red. Wait, yeah, Rita's Red. So number 170. Seriously, like, so beautiful. I can't feel. I'm just gonna be putting that all over my lips. And every time I overdraw my lips, I fail at it. Like, why? Why do I keep trying? This is such a beautiful color, I'm so impressed. I overdrew my lips way too much, but it's too far gone for me to take it off because then I'll just take off all the makeup around it, so I'm just gonna leave it and like low-key look like Miranda Sings, but it's fine. And I look like all teeth. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was super like random, chill, <laughs> kind of a mess, but I really like how this look turned out. Um, thanks again Rimmel so much for sending me all these beautiful products. I will definitely be filming a lot more looks using these products so you can see the full spectrum of what you can do with them. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. I post videos twice a week and I will see you beautiful butterflies in my next one. Bye!